I recently replaced the sights on my Glock 19 Gen 3. I had the factory plastic sights for quite some time. So I want to upgrade to some steel sights. Obviously, steel's better. Plastic is terrible for durability. Uh, in the event you drop the gun, so for some reason you might crack the sights and that would be bad in a uh, situation where you needed your gun. But uh, when I was shopping around, one of the uh, requirements that I was looking for, one of the characteristics I was looking for was a rear sight that allowed for assisted one-handed manipulation of the firearm. Uh, they teach that method now in a lot of pistol manipulation courses such that if you get injured and you can only operate with one hand, you can somehow rack the slide against a hard surface such as a door jam, window seal, tabletop surface, or your belt, your holster, your belt buckle. And so when I was shopping around, I final, finally settled on the Vickers Elite Tactical Battle Sight, which is made for him by Wilson Combat. It's a steel sight design. Uh, they have several options out there as far as your rear front sight combos, but I went with a plain black rear with serrations and a front tritium dot with serrations. The rear option that they have is also a tritium single dot if you wanted that option, or on the front sight you can go with fiber optics or a gold or brass dot. But for me, I prefer a just the singles, single tritium dot for the front, plain black rear. And as you can see, the front face of that rear sight has a great surface area. It's got a claw type surface such that if you needed to manipulate the slide with one hand, you could do it against a hard surface. I have an unloaded gun with a loaded mag or unsure that it's not chambered. So let's say if I were in a fight, somehow got injured, but I have a, a loaded mag in there, what I could do is just go against the surface of my holster, rack it, punch forward on my target, fire my rounds in there. If for some reason I need to re-rack it again, it's jams, run it against my holster, clot that, go forward, boom. Now I'm dry, drop my mag, go ahead, punch a new mag, rack slide, good to go. Uh, the one uncommon or less than common aspect of the Vickers Tactical Elite Battle Sight is it's got a U-notch design. When I say U-notch, it's uh, most of you are pretty pretty much familiar with a standard square notch design. The U-notch design supposedly allows you better sight, uh, faster sight pickup when you want to pick up your front front, front, front sight post in your in your uh, sight alignment. Uh, granted. I, I find that it is true. I am picking up the side a little bit faster, but it's taking a lot getting used to because I'm just used to those corners. When I'm looking in my sight alignment, I'm just used to seeing those square notch corners. Uh, but just, I would say, just get a lot of dry fires in. Uh, try to draw from holster. Get, just keep do going slow and trying to get a, a good solid sight picture, getting practice with that and getting used to that U-notch design. I don't think it's hindering accuracy too much. I'm not a great pistol shooter myself, but I don't think it's hurting me in any any way or form. So I don't I wouldn't be too hesitant to go with the U notch if or the Vickers Sack to Elite Battle Set, the U notch is kind of kind of scaring you away. Give it a whirl. Uh, the price is fair. Uh, I paid it's MSRP is about 50 for the rear, 50 for the front. The two options I got, the plain black rear and the uh, Tritium front sight. Uh, you can shop around. I think Brownells has a little lower price on those. So if you want to find another Wilson Combat vendor or another Vickers Tactical vendor that carries these sites, go to your go to that vendor if you need to save a little a few bucks. But I think the price is fair as far as they're pretty much in line with uh, steer steel rear and front sight combos out there. So give it a whirl. The Vickers Tactical Elite Battle Sight uh, by Wilson Combat. You can go to their go to the Wilson Combat. Wilson Combat website directly. You can find it there. I should have an article on my website soon enough at ocabj.net where I do a little write-up and then have some photos, a little bit better photos versus this video so you can kind of get a better picture of what these sites look like. And then if you can probably just go to the Wilson Combat uh, website and see their product pictures. But there should be a wealth of information out there. Just This is my personal video just to show off this new site option I put on my factory Glock 19 or replaced my factory Glock 19 sites with. There you have it.